Tesla and Toyota are at the opposite sides of the electrification. They're literally the cathode and anode of the automotive industry. And yes, this is as nerdy and technical as this video is going to get. Uh, this is actually the Tesla Panasonic battery from the Tesla Model S. Now, Tesla is still growing while Toyota is one of the most established global giants. However, if Toyota doesn't catch up when it comes to the electric cars, uh, their market share and profits will shrink as more and more people are going for electric vehicles. And if Toyota was to catch up, they must make a huge leap because they're that much behind. And it's not going to happen because of a better self-driving tech or it's not going to be an amazing charging network. That ship has sailed. If they're going to catch up to Tesla, it will have to be the battery tech. And believe it or not, it may actually happen because Toyota has promised to unveil the solid state batteries this year. Let's compare the battery tech that both companies are promising and see who's got a better chance. And we're going to do it right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of electric car scoop. If you are interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, you came to the right place. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. As you probably know, Tesla has recently unveiled their next generation battery tech during the battery day announcing the 4680 batteries while Toyota is holding on to hybrids for dear life while spreading EV lies and recently lobbying US Congress for the electrification slowdown. Now recently some of the Toyota investors have gotten tired of living in the past and started to pressure Toyota to reconsider their anti-EV stand. Toyota has finally unveiled their very first global EV prototype BZ4X. Now is it a mind-blowing prototype? No. Would you think that this car has been on the market for like five years if you saw it sitting at the Costco parking lot? Probably. And I know what you're saying, Alex, but Volkswagen has invested into a very promising California startup QuantumScape. And it is true that looks very promising and it looks like Volkswagen is planning on going in production with solid state batteries in 2025. But Toyota has more to lose than Volkswagen and they the Toyota has promised the production two years earlier than Volkswagen and they really need it. Now, the way Elon Musk and Tesla have achieved their battery breakthrough is simply by removing the tap, the, the part of the battery that's actually making contact with whatever it is that it's powering. Now, these new tabless cells that Tesla is calling 4680, simply because that's what the dimensions are, are going to give this batteries five times more energy capacity, make them six times more powerful and enable a 16% range increase for Tesla vehicles. Now, you're probably wondering, Alex, where did you get one of these? They're not even in production yet. Well, I got it where I get all of my cool stuff. Etsy. So why are these batteries so much better than these? Well, I'll tell you in just a second. Before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Xpong Motors. Check out the P7, a beautiful electric sedan I just got to enjoy myself a few weeks ago. It is equipped with the Xpilot 3.0 self-driving tech with navigation-guided autonomous driving feature and even some cool games. You can watch my full review on this channel and also check out Xpong Motors on Facebook. Both links are down below. Now, the reason these larger tabless cells are so much better is because they have managed to shorten the electrical path by five times and that made a huge difference. So when it comes to the battery tech, size does matter. Tesla was also able to achieve a 14% reduction in cost per kilowatt hour at the cell form factor level only, which will help Tesla be more profitable and will help Elon to refresh his black t-shirt wardrobe while staying the richest man on earth and Mars. Tesla has already launched their pilot production plant near their Fremont factory in California. However, they've decided not to go into the mass production alone. They are partnering with Panasonic, their old friend, to produce these after all. Now, what about Toyota? Now, Toyota is going for gold because they have to, as I mentioned before, if they want to catch up to Tesla, 
they have to go all the way to the solid state battery technology. It is a technology that uses a solid components rather than liquid or gel components. Now the solid state batteries are much more superior technology because not only they are potentially safer, they will provide a longer range and faster charge speeds. They will have a longer cycle life and they have higher energy densities. Essentially, they remove all of the concerns that people normally have that prevent them from buying an electric car. Now, Toyota is planning to be the very first car maker to mass produce the electric cars with solid state batteries in the next few years, but they have promised to unveil the very first prototype this year. And guess who Toyota is partnering up on this with? Yes, Panasonic, that's right, Panasonic is double timing both Tesla and Toyota, but when you have chemistry like that, you gotta spread the love. However, it is much easier said than done because the solid state batteries are very hard to produce, especially right now. The way Toyota is producing them at this moment is not going to work for the large scale production. So they still have a lot of innovation to do. Now, even though there are two big bottlenecks for this technology right now, one of them being the cost and another one being the inability to produce these on a large scale, there is one company, Automobili Estrima in Italy that has just vouched to start producing electric vehicles with a solid state technology in just two years. How are they gonna be able to do it? Well, very simple. This is going to be an all electric hypercar that will cost north of $2 million. So the cost of the solid state battery has been solved that way and because they are such a unique and exotic car they are only going to be selling 20 of those per year and that takes care of the mass production of the solid state battery problem now back to toyota because toyota was actually going to unveil this solid state technology last year during the 2020 tokyo olympics because you know when you're watching curling and fencing the breakthrough in electric car battery technology actually does seem kind of exciting in comparison but because of the pandemic the big reveal was delayed until this year and should be happening well any minute now as i mentioned earlier toyota does claim that they're planning on starting the solid state battery based vehicle production in 2025 now i'm not saying it's going to happen I'm just saying if that's going to happen, they really do have a pretty big chance of passing Tesla in battery technology unless Tesla does something even cooler. I should also note that Toyota does own over 1,000 patents related to the solid state battery technology. So this is a very interesting race that obviously involves other car manufacturers and battery producers besides Toyota and Tesla, but at the end of the day, one winner is guaranteed and it's going to be us, the consumers. Now, does Toyota have the ability, the funds and the talent to develop this? Absolutely, but their margin of error is very thin. While Tesla can fumble their battery tech for the next couple of years and literally sit on their hands and play with a fart app and they still will be ahead of everybody else. Now, the big question is, why isn't Tesla working on a solid state battery technology of their own? Now, of course they could be, but I find it hard to imagine that they are and Elon is containing himself and not letting all of us know about it on Twitter. Now, I think that Tesla probably doesn't believe that this is the right time yet. It's better to make a smaller step with the 4680 batteries first while taking control over production of the batteries and then move to the solid state batteries later. Now, if Toyota or any other OEM gets there first before Tesla, then we will see a major shift in the electric car industry leadership. But as for me, as a consumer, I don't really care who wins that war. All I care about is that I don't have to sit for 45 minutes at each fast charging location on my way to Vegas. I'm a simple man. Let me know in the comment section which company you think will get to the solid state battery on the mass production scale first. And of course, don't forget to join as a premium member. You will see all kinds of benefits that you will get as one besides supporting this independent YouTuber for which I thank you. Of course, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.